What is up, fellas? What is up? What is up? Yeah, yo, this KDP. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. You guys told me about the microphone. Said that I need a new mic. Booyah! I got a mic, and not only that, but um, I got the Rode Wireless Go for the wireless. Sorry, light lighting's not good. For the future, I can do that too. Booyah! So. Anyways, we're gonna talk about money, man. Money, money, money. What what drives the world around and around is them dollar bills, yo. So this week we're gonna talk about the money in Super Ego here. What kind of money can you afford to get? You know, what type of um, money? Why do some people get small checks and so forth? I'm gonna go ahead and break it on down in simplest terms. So when you come over here, you know what to do to get the most amount of money and get the best bang for your buck over here so without further ado um the one the main thing a lot of people will be uh making mistakes on is the diesel they will focus their time and energy on the loads and the price of loads which is a very important thing don't get me wrong but they totally leave out the diesel and at the end of the week uh, the majority of my weeks the diesel is the highest expenditure on the week weekly um you know budget or expenses so you need to watch your diesel most of all besides everything the load should be something back of your head. You know where the good areas are, the bad areas, but the diesel is going to make your check. All right. So how do you watch the diesel? Well, there's a few different things that I do. Um, a lot of people wonder, like, man, you've been there for three years. You ain't got no fool card, man. This, that man, that man been there three years. He ain't got no fool card. Well, I ain't got no fool card because I don't need a fool card. I get my diesel at the lowest price I could get whether I pay for it out of my pocket or I use the company card they allow a certain amount of gallons at the mom and pops um, you can go to pilot loves TA all the big name shot brands you can go to you can get you know I don't want to break down the gallons but you can break down you can get X amount of gallons at each of them shops so for example um, I did a uh, drone video the other day. I was at the TA over in, in Oregon, headed over here to my delivery, and uh, the price was three twenty, three thirty-two. Three thirty-two was the price. I got a hundred gallons. This was Sunday night, and I was like, man, I don't know if it's gonna go on next week or this week because when I got done, it was like twelve oh five, Illinois time. Some people get confused, you know, they're in, they're in Florida again, diesel, and they're going to wait till after 12 to get diesel. They wait till after 12, like 12, 15, 12, 30, they get diesel. It goes on the previous week. They don't go, you got to understand that the home base is Illinois. Whatever you do with your logs, with your diesel, it relates to Illinois, Chicago, Illinois time. That's what they go off of. They can't go off of from 
where exactly your location is because they have trucks in California, they have trucks in New York. So they can't keep a track of exactly where the truck's location at, they just go by a baseline. And that baseline is Chicago, Illinois time. All right, boom. So anyways, I got 100 gallons on uh, Sunday, and like I said, it was like nine o'clock over here, nine or 10, but I looked at, I have Chicago on my phone um, under world clocks. You know, I got Chicago, I got Serbia, and then I got Florida, boom. The three times that I'm concerned with. But when I got done, it was like 12.05, so I don't know, but anyways, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I had a big trip. I had uh, 2,700 miles for 4,800 from Georgia to Oregon, all right? So I had quite a bit of um, money on the load to get diesel. So whether I get it Sunday or next week, I, it really is not that big of a deal for me on this week because, you know, thank God that I grossed, you know, 8,500 this week. I did really well. I did um, two loads. I was at 3,700 Thursday morning and they had a load going to Georgia, a dry van load, for like $1.70 a mile, 4800 I took it because I seen San Francisco loads were outrageously high, eight, seven, eight thousand. Oh yeah. Anyways, back to diesel. So yeah, so um, what I do is I just go off of price strictly. A lot of people will fill up per load and so forth. I don't do that. I go off of the price. If the price is low and it's early in the week or Friday or before, I'm going to fill the truck up at Pilot, TA, or Loves. If it's not low, I'm gonna go to the Mama Pops and get my 50 gallons a day and keep me moving until I get to a lower area, you know? And that's the main thing, you know? Um, but just be mindful on the weekend because you don't, you know, one week, I only gross like 5,000 and I filled my truck up Saturday, spent like $800 and my check, you know, was like $1,000. Well. In hindsight, I was thinking, man, if I didn't put that $800 in my truck Saturday, I would have had an $1,800 check, you know? So obviously it'll help you out for the next week. You'll have diesel in your truck. You won't have to buy so much next week, but you know, you gotta just, just be mindful of your diesel consumption because it will wipe out a check if you don't gross that high. Now, if you, like I said, I grossed 8,500. This week I wasn't concerned about it, you know? The, the price was 3.30, I, I got 100 gallons Sunday night, and then Monday morning before I left, I put, filled my truck up all the way, you know, because um, even where I'm at over here south of Portland, the diesel is like 360, 370, so I'm glad I did. You know, but um, but diesel, yeah, just watch your diesel. So that's, that's the highest priority. Second highest priority is your loads. Work every day. If you don't work every day and, and, and for some reason you don't get a load one day, I wait till about, if I unload at eight o'clock in the morning, by 12 o'clock, if I don't have a load, or if the dispatcher can't find no good loads for that area, I say, okay, well look, we're done for the day. Look, you know, start looking at tomorrow morning. A lot of times a broker will have an 8 a.m. pickup and have to cover that load today. So they're gonna put as much money on that load as they need to to cover it today because they can't book it in the morning. An 8 a.m. pickup is not possible. I mean, it's possible, but it's very hard. They need to book that load the previous day. So if you're empty at 8 a.m. <clears throat> and by 12 lunch you don't have a load, start looking at tomorrow. Start spreading your deadhead out. Do whatever you need to do to get a good load, you know? You don't really wanna be missing days. If you're gonna be going to a bad area, some people like to be pre-worked the whole week. Me, personally, I don't like that. Because you get more bang for your buck if you're empty and the loads are on the load board and you negotiate, your dispatcher negotiate the right price. To give you an example, this load I got now, I delivered in, um, I don't know, like, say, no, I'm picking this load up in Salem, but I delivered 20 miles away. So my dispatcher told me the previous week, hey Lance, they got a, um, they got a load going to Arcadia, um, 2,800 miles, and they have a post for 4,500. I said, hmm, I like the load, 30,000 pounds. All the other loads in Oregon were like 40,000 more. I really wanted to go to San Fran, but there's no loads going down there, and I didn't want to deadhead 600 miles to get $2.50 a mile. 
3,000 miles for eight grand. That's 250 miles. So anyways, they had 4,500 on this load. And I told my dispatcher, I, and I said, yeah, I like the load. He said, no, I'm going to try to get 5,000. I said, cool, you know. Well, he ended up getting 4,875. So not 5,000, but when, when I divide the money by the miles to get my miles um, rate per mile, it's like 242 a mile for 2,800 miles. So that's good. And it's light, 30,000 pounds. The only negative part about it is negative 10, but you know, you can't have everything you want. So, but yeah, that's simple. That's it, man. You work every day, watch your diesel. You're going to get a nice check. You can expect um, people just coming in. If you gross eight grand, you watch your diesel. That's a $2,700 check. Now, if you owe tag and escrow, that's going to take a couple months to pay them off. But eight grand, you're at about $2,700. I'd say twenty-five to $2,700, depending on your diesel consumption. So that's what type of money you should look at, you know. If you grow seven grand, you're at about, you know, $1,700 to uh, $2,200, somewhere in between there, you know. Five grand is probably the minimum you want to gross. That's to like pay your bills you need five grand so i hope this got i hope this helps you guys let me know in the comment section what how the mic sounds is it getting better i love y'all hit super ego up y'all want to come i broke down the numbers for you i broke down how to get the checks i broke down the diesel the loads what more do y'all want man what more stay tuned to the end i'm gonna put my phone number up too if y'all want to hit me up hit me up man don't forget, if you put me for a referral, you got to put down the application. If you don't put it on the app, there's no referral bonus. Let's get that clean. Some drivers want to put me down. They didn't store my number. Blase, blase. I can't, you know, nothing I can do to help you, man, if you already did the app. So I love y'all. Thanks for subscribing, man. Stay tuned. More adventures to come. I love y'all. Peace.